how Ralph Lauren went from poor to multi-billionaire. Ralph Lauren listed a millionaire as one of his life objectives in the 1957 yearbook of DeWitt Clinton High School in New York City. According to Forbes, he currently has an estimated worth of $7 billion due to the millions of dollars he has made through his iconic company, Polo Ralph Lauren. After growing up in a poor neighborhood of the Bronx, Ralph Lauren has transformed himself into a multi-millionaire. The Army veteran and former clerk made his fortune through the Polo apparel business, which he founded in 1968 and has grown to be worth billions of dollars. Hello everyone and welcome to another video on our channel. In today's video, we'll be looking at how Ralph Lauren went from poor to multi-billionaire. Yeah, you heard it right, so let's get started with our video. Let's start with his early life details. Ralph Lipschitz, the youngest of four siblings, was born in October 1939 to Jewish immigrant parents Frank and Frieda Lipschitz. Ralph's family was poor, so he escaped his mundane life by immersing himself in the fantastic world of the movies. In his biography, Genuine Authentic, The Real Life of Ralph Lauren, biographer Michael Gross highlighted how the child utilized his creative imagination to enter the fictitious worlds of movie stars like Cary Grant and Gary Cooper. Lauren's imagination, according to Gross, was important in his later success in the fashion industry. After years of tormenting because of his surname, he changed his name to Lorraine in his late teens. He joined the U.S. Army in 1962 at the age of 23 and served until 1964 when he went to work as a clerk at Brooks Brothers, America's oldest men's clothing company. So when did he launch his business? Loren then went to work at Bo Brummel, a well-known tie company. In 1967, he persuaded the firm president to allow him to design his own tie line, and thus the Ralph Loren Corporation was born. Polo, his legendary brand, was born out of his passion for sports. His entrepreneurial passion seemed to be rekindled after seeing his first polo match. He traveled with a buddy, Warren Helstein, who remembered seeing wonderful things like horses, silver, leather, tall blondes with enormous hats, and high society. Loren was inspired to create an elegant and high-end brand known as Polo Ralph Lauren. Launching the company was a huge risk because he just possessed a high school diploma and a few business classes after dropping out of City University of New York midway through his business degree. What was his approach and how did the brand expand? His next big bet was a wide, colorful tie amid an era of plain narrow ties. He sold $500,000 in ties and won Bloomingdale's in his first year. Though quickly promoted, he did not rest on his laurels. Instead of growing his business, erasing the past, focusing on the future, he believed in living in terms of clothing design. He produced stuff he would love to wear. He imagined himself as a movie star. The things that he made, you could not buy. You could not find them anywhere, he said in an interview. He began in menswear, and in 1971, he introduced his first tailored shirts for women with his now famous polo player symbol. In the same year, he opened his Beverly Hills store on Rodeo Drive. His distinctive cotton polo short was introduced in 1972, and his fragrance line debuted in March of 1978 at Bloomingdale's. In 1986, he established his main store on Madison Avenue and 72nd Street in New York. Lauren's renowned polo sport line debuted in 1992, followed by further lines and purchase trademarks such as Ralph Lauren Purple Label in 1995. On June 12, 1997, his company went public on the New York Stock Exchange. Did he face any challenges in his life? The Ralph Lauren brand was said to be failing in some areas in June 2016. Discounting and lower-end products were criticized by analysts, who claimed they tarnished the company's reputation and a failure to attract younger customers. In response, the designer released wearable technology in the form of a fitness technology shirt with a smartphone app in 2017. Physical tracking technology was first used in the Polotech smart shirt Athletic Gear. It had sensors that monitored the wearer's heart rate, breathing, stress level, and calories burned. Polo Sport competed with Nike, Adidas, and other big sports brands by streaming data to an app that developed customized workout regimes. Where is he now? The designer is now 79 years old and reaping the benefits of his labor, with houses in Long Island, Jamaica, Bedford, and Manhattan, as well as a 17,000-acre ranch in Colorado. The kid who dreamed of becoming a millionaire has become a multi-billionaire. He owns one of the world's most valuable vehicle collections. Owning a rare and superbly constructed car offers a different kind of pleasure for me, he once commented. You can appreciate the machine's beauty as well as the voyage it takes you on. He feels that having style rather than following trends is the key 
to his success. Fashion comes and goes swiftly, he famously quipped. Style never goes out of style. That man said it perfectly. If you want to create your own rags to riches story, headspaces, flexible workspaces, and co-working offices are a great place to start. Well, that's all for today's video. Tell us in the comment section how today's video was and whether this story inspires you. I hope that you found this video interesting. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider subscribing for more. And don't forget to give comments and provide us with your valuable feedback. We'll see you in the next video with some more amazing, luxurious facts and stories. And until then, stay tuned.